on the most important issue. First of all, I want to recognize the esteemed members of the high table and other distinguished spectators. Now, without further ado, I want to first of all emphasize that this instant administration is an administration of seriousness. Seriousness, frankness, and truth. Nobody is here to pretend and nobody is here to sabotage or to play with the lives of the people of this state. Um, you are living witnesses that all the officials of this government were carefully selected and have been discharging their duties professionally. This is evident from what is happening in the state. Now, coming to the issue of mining, you, the press, and the members of the public were living witnesses when an executive order was signed banning mining activities, number one. Number two, suspending already issued mining licenses, all in a bid to protect the lives and citizens of this state. Because it was discovered that it is, those activities are one, uh, those activities are part of what is fueling the crisis. Now, to visit that kind of idiocy on an innocent person, whose desire is only to see that the state is better off, is quite unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate and, to say the least, uncalled for. Now, I want to also emphasize that you were living witnesses because, for me, this gathering is like a testamentary gathering. You were living witnesses when we signed a legal notice banning the purchase of petroleum from 6 o'clock, transport of bread in larger containers, because we believe those were the medium of empowering the people carrying out these activities, illegal mining and the rest. Now, I want to lay credence to what the Honorable Secretary to the State Government has said, that the government of Dauda Lawal is committed and remains resolute. Resolute in the sense that it is determined to ensure that peace returns to this state. And also to ensure that all the developmental strikes are sustained. Therefore, to bring in this publication is not just immoral but illegal. And uh, everyone is a living witness that Nigeria is a nation governed by law. A nation governed by law it means that there are laws guiding publications. Now, the Honorable Secretary also had made it clear to you that the people who perpetrated this act will not go unpunished. They will not go un unchecked. As I'm talking to you now, um, effort is in full gear. In full gear in the sense that we have followed due process as it is a government of due process. You are living witnesses to that, that everything we do is based on due process. Due process has been set in motion to fish out whosoever is responsible for the purpose of investigation and possible prosecution. Thank you very much.